Up next is this episode's member interview. This is my chat with Nick Ray. Hey, this is Nick Ray. I'm a singer-songwriter from New Orleans, Louisiana. I've been yeah. using the platform uh, on a daily basis. Excellent. So how did you find out about Repost Exchange? Uh, I think I was trying to find ways to break into the SoundCloud uh, market or platform and trying to find ways to spread my music through there. And um, I think I was Googling some stuff and looking for ways to organically promote uh, my tracks through SoundCloud. And I didn't want the fake stuff, you know, all the fake, you know, yeah. a lot of guys pay for these uh, social media uh, marketing, you know, uh, people through Fiverr and stuff like that. And they promise that it's going to be organic, but then you pay for the, the service and it ends up being, you know, a whole bunch of people from India just creating these fake accounts and liking your stuff. And I didn't want that. So I landed on Repost Exchange, started, you know, reading some reviews. And, and then I, I figured that was a it was a good platform to try yeah. out from the reviews alone. And then once I logged in, created an account and started using it, I started seeing how it was working. And, you know, it, it, it's a real artist friendly, kind of like, a, um, you know, an artist camaraderie there, you know, kind of going on. Everybody's, you know, trying to spread their music, but they're, they're taking time to, you know, these artists are checking out each other's tracks and rating them and stuff like that. And, and I, I think that's, you know, how it's so successful and how it's, you know, work and they work well for me. So, and um, how long have you been making music for? It's roughly like 20 years. I mean, you know, and that's including all the baby stage stages and stuff. You know, like, mm -hmm. um, you know, the stuff you do as a kid. You know, on on. If I were to add that into as a total package, I would say like 20 years. Wow. So, what um, where did when did you start? Uh playing guitar when I was like, I want to say it's somewhere in the, the early. Tw somewhere in 12 area 11 or 12 and mm -hmm. you know picked up an instrument and then it all evolved into experiment with recording and and all, all that kind of stuff you know yeah uh, so where are you based uh new orleans louisiana um, oh cool cool uh, so did you grow up there i did never yeah. left neither excellent that's nice it sounds like a fun place to be it, it is there's there's pros and cons to it just like anywhere but it's uh it's a lovely area and yeah I, probably why you know i can't seem to find make myself move anywhere else yeah exactly no that sounds great uh, what's the music scene like in new orleans um at the moment um very jazz driven uh blues driven cover band driven um there's some eclectic stuff on the outside of all that you just got to know where to go jazz artists are making careers down here just from that and um you know cool um so do you ever play live I do. Uh, well, I have in the past. Um, not not so much so these days. And uh, I've gotten that question a lot. And uh, just to quite a, tr try to quickly sum that up, uh, the, the reason I don't is well, I mean, I produce all my own, all the all the records I do. I write them, I mix them, I master them, and then all the the uh, management side of things, I do all that. Now I have teamed up with some people that have that have helped me with uh, a whole lot of visual aspects of stuff and um they've actually helped me in managing too right and uh, it's been a great collaborative effort and uh they actually have really helped me build a brand and the name of this company is called so it goes productions out of uh new orleans louisiana and uh they've actually taken a big load of all my management stuff and, and help for the past couple years but because it's such a huge task um i still have to be very hands-on with that stuff and uh, because of all those things and, and, and uh, trying to pay for my overhead and, and all that kind of stuff, live doesn't fit well into what I'm doing as of right now. Um, and, and it's really hard to explain why, but um, I guess these other tasks are so daunting, you know, trying to find film placement, um, mm -hmm. sync licensing deals, all those kind of different things are just extremely taxing so i guess i have to kind of pick and choose my battles and live right now just doesn't seem to really benefit me at this moment so uh i'm hoping that eventually there'll be some type of foundation that would be solid enough to where i can do that and the other things you know and that's the best way i can really put that together so what advice would you give to new musicians who are just starting out uh patience Tons of, pa tons of patient, patience, um, reading, studying, um, and that could be all, you know, 
just through online reading blogs, um, checking out YouTube tutorials. Uh, uh, a huge thing would be surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals, positive ones at that. So other artists that are doing the same thing that you're doing. Um, constantly playing uh, if you're a songwriter writing a song a day if not more than that um always finding time if you have a day job you're working 40 60 hours a week um try in the evenings to to write a little bit or you know perform or practice uh, say uh maybe maybe on your off days you spend eight hours nine hours a day just recording and writing you know but always doing it surrounding yourself with people that are doing it and constantly seeking knowledge excellent that's lovely advice and it sort of links into my next question. So the podcast I've put together is um, collaborations um, and remixes. But I'm always really interested to hear how people um, network and find people on Repost Exchange to do um, collaborations with. I know you've done it with uh, Woodman and um, Beefsteak and a couple of others. Could you tell me a bit about how those came about? Yeah, it was pretty It was pretty straightforward in, in a easy connection i mean just checking out their channel liking some of the work they did and reaching out to them and you know just shooting them shooting them a message and trying to open up a door into a you know collaborative effort and it was really straightforward you know just reaching out saying hey this look this is what i'm trying to do i like this of what you did in your your repertoire um uh, would you how do you feel do you have time you know do you have time to do something maybe similar to what you've already done you know um and, and I, I like to pick from their their own their catalog already to use as examples to shoot back to them like hey look i like this you know you've already done this is, is it do you, do you you know check out my page you you like what you're seeing on my page or or, or maybe are you looking for a vocalist in the future? And it could be a simple line of, hey, look, I love what you're doing. I'm a vocalist from wherever you're from, New York, New York, and I'm looking to branch out and, and, and do collaborative efforts uh, in the near future. If you're ever looking for a vocalist, hey, you know, um, please keep me in mind. And, you know, it's, it, it's very simple, just dropping a line, you know what I mean? And um, it's really that, that's, that, that easy. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, um, so we're going to play the Woodman um, remix of Something More. Um, I love Something More. I think I did a micro review about it last year. And I appreciate that, by the way. <laughs> oh, that's all right. You're welcome. What are your plans for the future? Oh, uh, more, more just being able to do more of what I love to do. You know, I did the, I, I've got a, and, I, and I'll share this about myself, anybody that, that happens to stumble across this podcast and maybe looks me up or 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 whatever um you know i've got a i've got a, a decent branding out there and and um a decent package and i and I, some people might get confused and think you know hey man this guy's doing it you know full time it looks like or whatever well the, the, to be completely honest i'm not I still work a, a day job and and um uh, my, my my goal is to do more of what i love so I uh, do to, to spin back to your earlier question about what advice I would give up and coming musicians would be find ways to make money in your craft. I firmly believe that maybe I could be wrong in the days. There's other people out there that might tell you um, you got to love what you're doing to eventually make money, which is true. But it's also like if you don't find ways to make money on a small on a on a lower level, then, it, it, you know, you have to treat your craft with a certain seriousness. You know, and uh, the, the more money that you can generate, the, the less you have to punch into a, a nine to five. Right. So for my my, my short term and, and long term goal is just to eventually not have to punch in that clock for that, you know, that uh, nine to five job and be able to be doing more of what I love to do and continue to do that. But the, the less money I make and the less opportunities that I find, the more I'm going to have to split my time doing something that I don't want to do. So yeah. it's very challenging, you know, making making money in the industry without any real help. And uh, obviously everybody knows streaming's not really going to pay. I mean, streaming can pay you to a certain extent if you're getting millions of plays and stuff like that. But yeah. Um, you know, if you're not, then you all, you know, you might you might get lucky and get a couple couple hundred bucks here and there every quarterly or whatever. But um, it's just the more you can do, you know, the more you, the more uh, collaborations you can take on that are paying you uh, the whatever, whatever you can do to make money from your talent will eventually probably hopefully bring you to the things you love to do. And, and maybe one day you'll be paid for that on a you know, on a daily basis or weekly basis or whatever. So uh, yeah. that's that's it pretty much in a nutshell. Uh, I enjoy working with you guys and, 
you know, y'all y'all really helped me grow my SoundCloud page extensively. 